Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of First Cut Soilage 2024. So today you join us on the 19th of May. Uh, as you can tell, hopefully we are tedding. Um, so if you saw part one soilage, hopefully you saw that we tedded almost everything that we cut with, in that video, which was a week ago now. Um, this video we are currently tedding the red clover and ryegrass we put in last August. Um, we're going to cover uh, hopefully about 60 acres in this video. We've got the contractors wagons coming in tomorrow but the only thing we're tedding is the ryegrass, the red clover and ryegrass. The rest older permanent pasture, we're going to leave that alone. It's nice and hot today, that will dry sufficiently on its own. Uh, but this ryegrass is very tall, it's gone a little bit stemmy, it's a little bit farther on than we would like. But because it's such a bulky crop, it needs to head in to dry it out. Uh, the swaths are quite big and they would stay wet in the bottom by the time they come to pick this up tomorrow morning. So that is why we are tedding just the ryegrass. The red clover we put in isn't very prominent at the minute, uh, but the plants are still there, they're not showing very much. Hopefully once this first cut is taken off, that will then let the light into the clover and let it come on, properly get itself established. We haven't put any nitrogen on these fields at all, um, because that will hold back the clover, and once the clover is established, it won't need any nitrogen at all, it will fix, fix everything it needs. So I'm quite surprised actually how much there is here for not having had any nitrogen so far this spring. So here we go, the last little run of the tunnel for today. So we will see you tomorrow when we are on with the rake. 
and the wagons are here. I don't know yet what time they're coming. Um, got a little bit of little bit to do to the clamp tonight, just to get ready for them. Uh, put some side sheets around and stuff like that. Uh, we've got to take off the sheet we put on last week and put the side sheets around, and then we'll be ready for them in the morning. So we will see you tomorrow for the rake. Right, so now we are into the next day and we are raking. So we are now about 12 acres in with the rake. Uh, the wagons are quite a way back now. Uh, what I've been doing is pushing on, trying to get enough ahead of them so that I can stop for a minute or two and just have a look at what we're picking up. So we are this way. I have just finished raking the third field we're going to pick up today, which is the first one I tethered yesterday. Okay, so we are now in the red clover. <clears throat> the red clover reseed. So, because we tethered it yesterday, it's just perfect now, I would say. We've still got nice bits of green in it, but what was on the top, so the green was underneath, what was on the top, we've also got some nice high, higher dry matter leaf, and like we said yesterday, it is a little bit stemmy, but that's the season. We are a little bit late cutting this. Um, it, because it was such a heavy crop it's not cut that well in place as you can see here uh, where it was slightly lying down it's not cut it very cleanly but equally most of it is fine um, didn't have time to jump out and film outside yesterday because uh, <clears throat> just because of the area or I, because of the area I had to cover and the time I was in a quite a tight time scale to get back to milk the cows didn't look didn't get out and look yesterday but today we're going to try and find some red clover okay so there is one so the clover is in the bottom there's one there um, another one what we're gonna to have to do is another one there we're gonna to have to come back in two weeks two three weeks maybe and see how it comes <coughs> how that clover comes on because when we were mowing we could see it in there but it wasn't as much as we would like to see but it is early in the season you can also see here it's little bits of straw left and that's the stubble left from last year's wheat um, because <coughs> what we did if you didn't see the video we just came in straight behind the combine or straight behind the baler just power harrowed it got on got a tilth um, so obviously it was a bit of a scruffy seed bed but it's fine now you wouldn't you wouldn't know it now but just I would like to see a bit more clover but hopefully I'm fairly confident now this big bulk of grass is gone that clover will come back because it is there but whether it's thick enough remains to be seen yeah, another one here look yeah, so what, what we must be careful of with red clover um, is we don't want to damage the crown of the plant okay which, which is where you know where it grows from um, so there's one there I would like to see a few more about there's one over there yeah, I think the clover could end up being a bit thin, but only one of them things. Only time will tell. Either way, we have got a good plant of ryegrass, so that will do. That will do a couple of good years of cropping like this. Uh, whether it will quite last into a third year, we don't know yet. That just depends what kind of growing seasons we get in the next couple of years. So we are three fields in. Four more to go. Four more big ones to go. So we better. Keep pushing on. So I got plenty ahead of the wagons now, they're not gonna catch up. I gotta keep on, try and get this whole block raked before milking time. So I'll get the drone out in a minute and get some drone footage of the wagons.
all finished, all sheeted down, waiting for the winter. Um, so we didn't clear as much ground as we normally do. Um, we only did uh, just about 60 acres with the two wagons in this video, uh, on top of the probably 40 that we did with our own wagon. Oh, what was that, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, the video, that video came out. Um, we do have a lot more grass to cut yet. Um, we probably stopped, we've probably got another 60 acres of first cut that we would have liked to make into silage, um, but there was no way no, another 60 acres was gonna fit in this clamp. Um, we're not full, you can tell, we still got some room in here, but we need to save room for our second cut red clover and, another, and the other lay that we put in last spring. Um, because if we get a decent summer, we will get two more cuts off of that, um, and we don't want to be bailing that. That wants to come in the clamp if we can. So we have stopped short uh, of filling on first cut. So we, that has left us with uh, around 100 acres of hay to make. And so that is the 60 we didn't cut and then the block we normally make into hay later on in the summer. So hopefully as soon as we get some weather, um, one particular block has to be done quite early. And we really don't want to be making baled soilage too early in the year. So we're hoping to make that into hay. Um, just depends what weather comes along. Once we cut that block, we will explain all the reasons why it needs to be done when it needs to be done. But that will be in a future video. So there we go. I would say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our part one and part two of silage. And, um, and we'll see you next time.